Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn about gradient descent, uh, what it is, how does it work and why it is used, okay. So here you can see a simple gradient descent that I have created in Jupyter Notebook. So let's try to understand what is gradient descent and why it is necessary. So gradient descent is basically an optimization algorithm that is used to find optimum value of your function, okay. So for example, here you can see I have a function 2x square minus 4x, okay. So this curve is represented by 2x square minus 4x, okay. So basically what I want from this curve that I want a value, okay, basically the value of x at which I will get the lowest value of this function, okay. So basically first I have to do the differentiation. So uh, doing the differentiation what I will get gradient, okay. From the, there it is get the name gradient, okay. So if I differentiate 2x square minus 4x, I will get 4x minus 4, okay. So basically I want the lowest value at which this uh, this parameter will get give me uh, lowest output, okay, optimum output. So what I have done is I have created a x poly and p dot line space 3 5 uh, minus 3 5 81. So what it what does it mean? So what it means that my graph start from minus 3 and up to uh, and 5 and the number of uh, points in between them is 81 okay suppose if I take this to 5 so you can see this graph is now a note -ish, is sharp edges type okay so if I increase this value I get a better quality of results graph okay smooth graph now let's try to understand another parameter so I have type a another parameter called y poly cost function x poly so y poly is basically my output of the function okay uh, so so to get the output i need to give some input function okay so cost function and here are the input uh, input parameters okay so i've created x poly i have used here and cost function is my here okay so these x values will go inside it and give me the graph like this okay so here i got the x values here i got the y values you can also add the labels plt dot x label okay so you can see x and y now after that i've created function called def iterations and learning rate okay so iterations basically how many these lines i i need to reach the um, uh, optimum values okay and learning rate is basically the step now try to understand how does a step affect your learning rate Suppose if I decrease this uh, learning rate, you can see I'm getting this, the, uh, I'm getting something that totally attached to the curve, okay? But it is not reaching the optimum value. If I increase the learning rate, I'm reaching the optimum value. Now, if I in, uh, further increase the optimum rate, you can see that I am now going away from the optimum value. If I increase optimum rate to up to here, you can see I am far far away from the optimum value so and one more thing you need to understand that nobody know how to set learning rate exactly okay so you basically reduce the value of learning rate for example point triple zero or uh, more complex or high lower values okay as per your complexity of the function this is simple function uh, that you can easily visualize it but for example if you have a 3d function or a 4d function at that case learning rate you're very low okay so that you can get the correct values and your iterations will be high to get the exact results okay uh, the biggest uh, uh, problem with the gradient descent is it takes time okay it is not like uh, you give some input function and it gives the output immediately no uh, it's not happened in real life case scenarios uh, here you can see the output of the graph immediately but if you see in real life uh, you might not see that uh, at the moment if unless you don't have a computer from NASA's okay so let's see what I have done so I've created a x path okay np dot iterations x path 0 x start so x path basically tells my starting point of my these lines okay these orange lines and I have type for i in the range 1 comma iterations my iterations start from 1 and go to, to iterations I got the iterations value from here slider 
derivative that is gradient uh, here is my gradient function okay simply x path i so basically uh, when x when x path 0 it reach here when x path 1 it will be here when x path 2 it will be here and to find the value of new uh, point you have a formula called x path x path minus derivative into learning rate okay so derivative is basically how steep this curve is okay how so how much this going to be down there okay and multiply by learning rate learning rate also that's how going to be because derivative is going to be constant okay for your case but learn you can increase or decrease the learning rate mostly okay so you will increase or decrease your learning rate as per your requirement to get to reach the optimum values after that you simply type x path because at the end of the for loop i want to reach the x path okay and after that i plot x poly and y poly y poly is nothing just x uh, cost function x poly okay so here you can see i plotted the graph and minus x means that plot a x if i type o and shift enter then i will got a circle okay so in that way you can reach the optimum values if you want to understand more better check out my blog link in description uh, you will also get the code there and if anybody got any kind of job opportunities for fresher please uh, send my resume there uh, i'm looking for it uh, i'm self learner i've learned machine learning for myself i'm a basically mechanical engineer currently doing freelance work in 3d uh, world uh, basically 3d designing okay so if anybody can provide me any kind of opportunities i will be thankful so yeah that's all i hope you learned something from this video for any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask questions thanks for watching and have a great day